minus math. Today I'll be showing you how math is used to make different notes. These notes have different lengths and different melodies. They're also used to compose pieces of music such as Long Long Ago. In the first bar line of Long Long Ago, there are two different types of notes. A chord note and an eighth note. Since eight, one eighth is half, is half of one fourth, an eighth note is going to be shorter than a quarter note. Let me play it for you. Quarter. Eighth. If I were to play these two notes, one after another twice, it would sound like this. You use fractions to find how fast or slow the length of a note is. If you see the second um, bar line of long, long ago, there will be a new type of note, a half note. A half note is with two beats. Two fourth is two times more than one fourth. So a quarter note is two times less than a half note. If you were to play a quarter note, then an eighth note, then a half note, right one after another, it would sound like this. Now, let's change the tune of all these notes and turn it into how long, long ago sounds. Those are the two beginning bar lines of long, long ago. Let's go on to long, long ago's variation. The variation only uses 16th notes. 16th notes are two times less than 8th notes, meaning they have to be a lot quicker. The variation uses 16th notes for everything except for two half notes. 16 1 16th notes make a whole note. Let's listen to two pairs of 16th notes one after another. They are a lot quicker than quarter, eighth, and half notes. Let's change the tune and make it sound like the variation of long, long ago. how 16th notes should sound. These are only some ways math is used to play the violin. You can use math to find how to play the cello also, another stringed instrument. Thank you.